Today marks five years since a tornado tore through Faulkner County and killed 16 people, leaving a path of destruction. Our own Michael Aaron shows us how a congregation in Mayflower is not only remembering that day, but healing from it. On Saturday, a special service at Living Truth Church in Mayflower. And with all the help of everybody that did what they did, we're here and we're excited about what God's doing right now. A service recognizing the resilience of a community. There was a lot of, of change that took place. And a congregation. We never missed a, a Sunday. Oh, oh, wow, oh, wow. On April 27, 2014, a tornado ripped through Pulaski and Faulkner counties killing 16 people and changing the lives of countless others. In my neighborhood alone, there was about 30 houses just completely leveled. Pastor Walt Hollis's home was spared that afternoon, but his church was not. The tornado leveled the building along Interstate 40, where dozens gathered for worship every Sunday, including that very morning. We went directly to the high school and started having services there. Now, Lord, we dedicate this to you. Exactly five years later, Living Truth Church has a new home. We dedicate this house. A home dedicated Saturday night. Even though I wasn't the greatest general contractor in the world, we still made this happen. Hollis says the long and difficult project was ultimately made possible by faith and the support of an entire community. Well, a lot of times people want to say, well, I guess this wasn't meant to be, so they just give up. And I actually had those thoughts, but realized I was supposed to be here and this church was supposed to be here. So you just sort of toughen up and do what it takes to get it done and uh, that's what we did. When it, it looks a little tough and like it's impossible, nothing's impossible with God.